Hi guys, so um, I'm doing a very, okay, there's multiple ways to do a cut crease, but this is how I do it, and I got a lot, I wore it last week and got a lot of compliments on it, so I figure I'm like, you know what, I think there's more than one person that would appreciate me doing a video and showing how I do it, um, yes, I'm wearing not a tank top, it is one of those cold shoulder things, I kind of love it, um, but yeah, so it's been it's been a, it's been a week. It's been that's all I got. It's been a week. It's a throw on the Baileys and the coffee kind of week. Um, I didn't because we are actually out of coffee. But it's been one of those weeks that's kind of trying my patience. But you know, hopefully it won't last too long. Um, I have. I have a cold, okay, that's also, you know, what I have is I have a cold, and I'm working on it, but there's only so much I can do, I've already, I already took just cold stuff, um, I actually have a video coming soon, but I want to kind of make sure it's right before I do it, but it involves uh, flowers in jars that I see for like 15 bucks that you can do easily for less than five, easily. Easily, so I got that coming, and then I got a home decor kind of thing coming um, that is involved with those. So I have to do those first before I can do the home decor video. Um, that's all I got. This is a really long video. I'm really sorry. So I'm just gonna cut to the chase. Here you go. Okay, so I'm going to go into this gold, which is Max Gold Line. And that is going... Clean my mirror. <laughs> uh, I'm taking a flat brush, and that is going all over the lid. We're just going on the lid. This is actually just going to be a kind of a base look for the glitter. So don't worry if when we put on the darker color if it fades because that's completely fine. Okay, so take a crease brush. Um, mine's pretty small, um, and you know, the smaller the better, just because you can really get into that orbital bone. So I'm going in with Deep Damson. This is like, it's not even really showing up properly on the camera, but it's like this purp deep, burgundy, purpley color. Sorry, it's like horrible. So that we're just going to use. We're using the cr this to kind of, we're using this to kind of sketch, essentially sketch out that crease. And if it goes onto the lid, that's fine. Like I said, the, go the gold is just more or less for the base for the glitter. So you want to make sure that color is pretty pretty strong on your on your eye I'm gonna go on both as you can see I'm also going in pretty into the inner corner because this is this is quite a dramatic look like let's be real Okay, we're keeping, we're keeping this out. For the record, these are all like, um, these aren't previous like ones in containers. I got these at a Mac Pro, Pro store. Um, so I got them separately and I have them in a Z palette. Okay, so now I'm also going into with a fluffy brush because I'm going to keep going up. And it's just doing that with the, cr with the crease makes it so much easier to know where to essentially, where you want to stop. Okay. 
So just the way my eyes are, I'm going to go a little more on this side to make it kind of angle out. And that just makes the way my eye shape is. Um, if you're not familiar with your eye shape, I definitely suggest going to a Sephora or a uh, MAC store, anyone, any any makeup place you enjoy. Um, and, you know, talking to them about tips and tricks about your eye shape because they'll be able to help you out, kind of figure out, like, teach you what your eye shape is and, you know, so then that way you can work with it once you know what your eye shape is. It makes things your makeup a lot easier. And there are certain eye shapes that that will work with any kind of uh, look. Like if you have more of an almond eye shape, which those magical unicorn people who are born with like these big eyes and like these gorgeous sh this gorgeous shape of eye, and you're just like, why? Uh, I'm gonna lie. I'm always insanely jealous of the of those people because I was born with. Yeah, I mean my eye color is pretty good, but. I have smaller eyes, so I have to kind of work with what you work with what you got. And once you know what you got, you can work. It makes it easier. So I'm just wiping off my brush and just kind of blending this, so then this doesn't look so, you know, harsh and muddy. Okay. So we're actually going to go back into the gold because this usually happens with the cut crease with any makeup when you when you do the lid do the lid first. Just, I'm just going to go on top of just kind of it kind of clarifies like the the uh, lid. Okay. going to do a quick brow highlight just more or less so it's done because next we're going to be doing the glitter and I'm just going to go into like a um, it's a makeup forever it's a makeup forever that I've had for years and I don't really know what it's called um it doesn't even have the number it doesn't even have the makeup forever number on the back but I got it because it's a really good highlight I just don't use it that much anymore because I just I go for other palettes typically now. Note to self, clean the Z palette. God. Okay, so now comes the fun part. The glitter. And this actually gets me super I'm super excited about this. <laughs> so I gotta shake this because the way this pigment is, it's uh, pearlized pigment clusters in sun power and sun power from Mac. And because the way they are, which I can show you, these are like it's not like the typical pigment or glitter, so you kind of have to be really careful. And as usual, I'm going into my lit. Uh, clear liquid glitter base with the tiny brush that it came with. I like to dip it in and wipe it off, and wipe it off a couple of times, just more or less, to really saturate the brush. And part of the reason why I actually shake the glitter um, gets it so it's on the lid, and it makes it easier to pick up. So this is actually going to make our eye look a little more dramatic than normal. So we're going to put this, we're putting this actually all over the lid. So with pigment, you can't really rub, so you kind of have to tap. It's a little tedious, but it works. And because it's not a thick pigment... That's why we had to, we used the, uh, the gold shadow. So then it kind of ends up looking kind of like little bits of foil on your eyes, 
which kind of gives a cool a cool look. Now, if you've if you've seen my other videos with glitter, um, I don't actually use this this glitter very often. But this is actually the first glitter I ever bought. Actually, first loose pigment I ever bought too, and didn't use it for a long time because I didn't really know how to use it. So now it's gonna look because of the way this is. It's gonna look chunky in some areas, which is fine. That's just the how this product is. Um, it's like some products having more fallout than others. It's just the way it is. No. Random side note, there are birds fighting outside my window. Just keeping you guys informed. So I need the fallout. I'm going to take a brush. This actually is the brush I use for uh, powder. So uh, you just gently... And this works for any fallout. So because I used this for powder earlier... Um, I knew I was using glitter, so I didn't wipe it off. So it kind of gives that a little more pop. It adds a little more powder to your under eye area. And why do I ha I have glitter in my hair? Because this happens. <laughs> I have glitter in my hair. Um, it makes it a lot um, easier to wipe off. Um, any sh any issues if you have um, fallout when you have when you use something with that you've already used your powder with it just kind of works better okay now I always like to do a nude liner under my eye not necessary it's just a personal preference and now we're going to do liquid liner. Um, just be careful because when you use glitter and then liquid liner or felt tip as I use, like this is the Kat Von D tattoo liner, you are going to get glitter on, glitter on your brush. Which is fine. This happens. It also might not show up as heavily as anticipated. So you might have to go in over certain spots more than once. So I just am rolling my brush on on the cloth I have down here just to take off any any glitter I get. Tiny brush strokes. Yeah, see so that one happened. Here where I put I'm gonna put my wing has more glitter, so I have to be I have to go over it a couple times. You know, in the story of my life, there's always that one, that one, one line that does not want to work with you. So, as per usual, I'm gonna do some contouring, and like I said, I only do my my cheeks and a bit of my jaw. And buff that through. That clicking sound is my chair. Uh, it's gonna come. 
I don't know if that's gonna come through, but again, birds. Um, and now I'm, I'm using a very gentle blush. Uh, this is a MAC Tenderling. As you can see, I've, it's well loved. And I, I honestly just want a bit of color on the cheeks. So when your eyes are a little more bold, you kind of don't want to have too much going on on the rest of the face. Now, as I always do, I just, to make sure everything's blended, I just wipe off my blush brush and I just kind of go over with it, with it in circles. Now, here's another thing that, not necessary, but I'm going to do. So I'm taking uh, Lustre Drops from MAC. Um, this is in Sunrush. So this and this were actually both from part of the same collection. I just don't remember what collection. But it was a couple of years ago. So I'm just putting a bit on my hand and I'm sure this is actually way more than I need. And then I'm gonna take a my beauty blender. And I'm just gonna keep dotting this until it blends through. Makes a good highlight. If you find this is actually, you know, if you need to buff it through, use the bottom part of your beauty blender. And I'm actually slightly... Ah. Now for mascara and lip. And again, this would be so much better if I could use, if I had lash glue. If I had lash glue, I would be putting some fake lashes on. But I mean, Except for the fact it's waterproof, I kind of like my mascara, which is uh, the Voluminous Feline in from L'Oreal. And you know, as I said in previous videos, when I do a bolder eye, I want to have a nude lip, so. This is Cherish from MAC. Very good news. And there you go. A very simple cut crease with glitter. And like I said, I'm trying to branch out. I mean, I mean, I know this is not that different from some of the other ones I've done, but you know, progress, progress, baby steps, you know, guys, baby steps. Okay, so yeah, that's the video. So I will have another video soon. I do have a home decor video coming, like a DIY part, and then well, and then it's gonna be part of a home decor thing. So just keep.